It is the holy month of Ramadan, and Muslims celebrate the month with joy, believing their good deed will be rewarded. In the Gambia, it is not always easy to distinguish between culture and religion. Gambian Muslims look forward to receiving gifts from their in-laws during Ramadan. Many go to the Great Land to fulfill this cultural practice that has crept into Islam or risk losing respect. Our soul says it brings families together and should be maintained. These hampers are prepared during Ramadan. It is part of our culture and a way of showing affection toward your in-law and sister-in-law. When they receive these gifts, they are happy. Mashallah. Saving for buying and preparing these gift hampers for the in-laws, like this ones, can take several weeks. They can cost between 70 and 200 US dollars. They are usually presented towards the end of Ramadan. Some scholars say it has defeated the purpose of alms given according to Islam. Charity should be voluntary and based on financial strength. But some recipients of alms feel pressure to give gifts to their spouse's family. Alms given is one of the pillars of Islam. In fact, they should be a recipient of givers according to the dictates of the religion, that is, sharing with the poor and the needy. If one is giving out charity in Islam, it should be for the sake of Allah. Islam does not teach us to seek appraisals from giving charity. It is not an obligation in Islam to give these gifts to your in-laws during Ramadan. Like many other cultural practices, this one is also a hotly debated issue. Personally, I, I really welcome the idea of giving hampers and cars during Ramadan to our in-laws. It's also building unity within ourselves, and it's our, part of our traditions. And to it also help to make sure that we maintain the peace and unity within ourselves. And I recommend or recognize that we should maintain this giving out hampers and cars during Ramadan. In my point of view, this causes more problems in marriages. To an extent, like uh, a wife will go to her husband to ask for cash when the husband is not financially stable. So it causes a lot in our homes, as we can see. In my point of view, like, we should give it to the needy ones instead. While some might smile politely and give graciously, some will have to dig deep into their pockets, ending up depriving their own families. Maimunaba, Africa Matters, Banjo, The Gambia.